come home. Well, thank you, my fellow Americans. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I am. Not George W. Bush. Actually, I'm Don Frankel, but because people think I look like President Bill Clinton, well, men think I'm smarter than I am. Women don't trust me. And you really can't blame them. And people interrupt my life in the most illogical places. I was coming out of Starbucks at the airport. This lady comes running up to me. Oh my gosh, President Clinton, is that really you? Well, yes. I left my four and a half million dollar penthouse in New York City to come to the food court <laughs> at gate 121 for a vente decaf half-calf latte with just a smidgen of nutmeg on top. Really? And it's really annoying in restaurants. I was in IHOP. This couple from the next booth get in my face. They were from France. Oh, Monsieur Clinton, what are you doing here? Well, I usually McJog over to McDonald's for a McMuffin. But I couldn't resist this. All you can eat, Rudy Tootie, good and fruity chocolate chip peanut butter pancake breakfast. And after all, this is an international house. <laughs> people, 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 I'm not saying, I'm just saying. When you look like this, well, it's, it's privacy out the window. Embarrassment, walk this way. I was in Walgreens Pharmacy walking towards the sundry section. And this middle-aged couple stopped me and the husband says, President Clinton, what can we get for you? Well, I was reaching for the Viagra. And the husband says, uh, I knew who that was for, wink, wink. I said, no, I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. If I had, I'd have said, boys, let's hold a press conference. I've got something to brag about. So I was, I was devouring a Costco hot dog, right? And these uh, two ladies uh, come running towards me. They were from the Middle East. President Clinton, you made our heart go flutter. You're here at Costco. And I'm thinking, President Bill Clinton at big box store, bulk store, Costco? What would he be buying? I'm thinking like 12 feather dusters, a crate of strawberries, I don't know, 24 cans of whipped cream, some rope, maybe some plastic tarps for the floor. <laughs> We're on the same page. Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> and so I'd like to thank all my fellow Americans who, uh, who supported my wife, Hillary, for the presidency. See, I'd like to get back into the White House. I left something in the Lincoln bedroom, and I'd like to get it back. And it would have helped me get Hillary out of the country more often because President Bubba loves his freedom and his cigars. <laughs> you and I have to make some new memories tonight. And I was thinking, since uh, Bill's unemployed right now, uh, perhaps he overlooked another career path. Pop artist. He was a big Herman's Hermits fan. Um, Hillary's maid, I am. Hillary's maid, I am, I am. I got married to the lawyer next door. She got me and I got gore. <laughs> and everyone thought Hillary could dump the trump for Uncle Sam. I'd be the first muse in Hillary's shoes. Hillary's maid, I am, I am. Hillary's maid, I am. Second verse, same as the first. She didn't lie, she testified, Hillary. Hillary, Hillary's mate, I am, I am. Hillary's mate, I am. H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. Hillary, Hillary, Hillary's mate, I am. And if that doesn't work out, perhaps hip hop artist. Yo, Obama, I feel your pain. Hillary, you need a new campaign. I look forward to every Christmas and Hanukkah so I can get a BJ from <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Thank you. You know, laughter is the best medicine, only second to penicillin, and I've had my share, believe me. <laughs> Hillary, I have, thank you, my fellow Americans.